This is the DeWalt 60 volt weed eater. It's model number DCST970 and we're going to put new string on it today. Okay, stringing this, stringing this weed eater is pretty pretty easy. It's called a speed head. And what you need to do is take this head flange here. You need to line up the hole here with the arrow that's on this on this flange. The problem most people have, which I have also, is the arrow is wore off. The arrow is right here sticking up is where it's supposed to be. From the manual, you can see the arrow they're talking about off of the flange that's pointing toward the, the hole in the head. You have to align those two together in order to get the string through it. Now, another way to do it is just to keep rotating it. Take a small screwdriver and when you can stick that screwdriver through there, you know to have, you have the hole lined up. See, I line it up here that little thin screwdriver won't go through there. But I can see there's an edge left right here. So when I line up the hole to where that edge is, where the arrow was, I can now put that through there. So now all you're gonna do is put the string straight through here, get it even on both sides. And then we're gonna turn this ring counterclock, hold this, turn this ring, right here counterclockwise when you're looking down on it counterclockwise and you're going to wind the string up now there is some difficulty in doing this so now we got to get this line through there so let's see if we can thread it through there and there it goes now what makes a difference is if you try to put it in curved, it goes all over the place. It goes back in that way and that way. So I'm gonna to try to hold this line from bending right here and stick it through. And that's the technique to help thread it through there. One thing I wanna show you, you, you do not have to take this cap off. I'm going to take the cap off to show you the inside. You can see the hole on the inside right here. And that's what needs to line up with this inner hole needs to line up with this one. And you can see it's about a one inch from here to here. So you need to thread that string through there and hit that hole. So let me line these up. So now we're lined up. I need to thread that that line in here into this other hole. So it gets hard to do it with the cap on. You can actually, I'm gonna go in from this side, I actually try to hold this string straight. And now I can see the hole in there and that makes it easier. So that might be easier for you. If you can't fish it through with the cap on, you can at least see it that way. And the cap just snaps back on into play. So that's an easier way to do it if, if you have to take the cap off, but you should be able to thread it through without that. You might also take a piece of wire, something stiffer and straight, stick it through there and then pull this wire back through it. Okay, once you have the wire in place, all you're going to do is even it out on both sides. Okay, once you have it even, you can also, this is the point 080 line, and you can put 25 feet of it on there. You can also use the point 095, and you're going to have to put a little bit less. So now what you do is hold this and turn this bottom ring counterclockwise. Okay, once you get about five inches of string left, that's it. And this string will cut itself right here. So that's all there is to it. And 
You probably also want to make sure all the grass is out of your motor air hose so you, your motor can get good airflow and not not overheat. And there was something else I learned too. The proper way to store the, the string is to actually take this and put it inside of a Ziploc bag and put one tablespoon of water in there with it. That keeps the, uh, the line from drying out over time. I'll also put pictures of the instructions into the video at the end in case you want to see them. There are a lot of videos online that give you the wrong idea. Some people are telling you to stick a screwdriver right here so the head doesn't turn, like right there. Some people say you stick a nail there. You don't have to do that. That's only used if you're gonna remove this head. So it's pretty easy to, to uh, put it on. It's probably one of the easier trimmers to, to string up. 